So um, after Atlantis, uh, you know, some went back. I mean, they began to go back to their own planets, you know, uh, in Atlantis to get away from all this bullshit that was going on. But for some reason today, they don't have the power to go back. <laughs> and um, there were a lot of pink people that were there. But then there were a few pink people that uh, uh, somehow they escaped Atlantis. So Noah was not the only one to escape Atlantis. And around the same time, Atlantis is going on in this flood. Then you have uh, some that were left on the moon. No one knew they were there. And uh, they had just enough whatever it was they needed to make a ship to get Romulus and Romus um, to hit the earth. And at that time, they landed in Italy. What is called Italy today. And uh, uh Somewhere during that time, some of the pink uh, beans that were on Atlantis, they got back on Mars. That's how come now today they thought they could get their asses back up there. No, you're not getting up there this time. Today, it is um, it is uh, being secured by the Palladians. The Palladians. It is being secured so not palladians the uh jupiterians the jupiterians they are securing it and they are uh, really really black and uh there was a man on uh, youtube who did a video he said uh, uh they they go back to the moon they they wanted to try to get away from here but they want to go on the moon to do us even worse you know and uh but when they got there they were not allowed to stay there uh when they got there there were already ships there and they had tall black men who said hell no pink man get your ass back down to hell you're not coming up here again because he caused so much hell there you really really did that has a genetic makeup his dna as god had made it and therefore you you understand why god has to send this flood to wipe out all of this contaminated form. There was Eno that sent the flood. But Inky, he went to talk to Noah to, uh, you know, just so we can keep going. You know? But, uh, you know, Inky always fucking some shit up. If, if, if Noah would have just died there, you know, and uh, the motherfuckers came down here, uh, Romulus and Romans, they'd have been here by themselves. Who gives a fuck? You know, and then maybe later on, those who were on the moon, that were on the moon, uh, they were sent down here anyway. And the earth would have just been uh, pink people. But there Inky goes again. Wow, I swear, Inky can really fuck some shit up. You know? Wow, Inky can fuck some shit up. ...comes of life and sent this judgment in the days of Noah. Now, Jesus says... as it See? There's the name. Another thing to keep you uh, in a way under mind control because you're too afraid to say tell Jesus you you're too afraid to tell Jesus to kiss your ass or no here's Matthew which means somewhat of doing the math okay twenty one hmm in the days of Noah oh yes. Wait, 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 tell, yeah. me, tell me this. Wait, and wait, today wait. is the same way it was in the days of Noah. Now you have these little stupid pink ass aliens. You know, they never tell you the Martians unless you go back to like 1950 or watch a movie. But these are Martians and um, they call themselves the Norse and the uh, Scandinavians. And um, Alistair Crowley ran up on them and they gave Alistair Crowley... Um, um, information of the Norses and um, the Scandinavians, they're pink. Of the, uh, wheat and, the tear. and he looks like he can be a Jew and a Jeffy because uh, his uh, hairline goes all the way back. That's how you can kind of tell uh, a Jeffy by his hairline, you know. It, he has really deep calyx and it goes, his hairline goes all the way back and sometimes his hair grows out of his hair. But he looks like a Jew because his face is longer and his nose. And he kind of looks hard-faced, like stone-faced, but he, he looks better than the other guy. 
Jews are not that ugly. Uh, the Messiah said, let them grow up together. Don't pull them out. I'm wondering if that's the difference between those whose DNA has not been corrupted and those whose DNA has been corrupted. Wow. Perhaps through a hybridization process yeah. of these aliens. What do you think? Of these Martians. I'll sit behind the scenes right now. This question uh, is unfolding among academics in a way that you can't even possibly imagine where they're asking the question do have we concluded that hybrids are among us and if hybrids are among us can they even be saved this is a con if hybrids are among us can they even be saved what the fuck he mean be saved and that's something too you know uh, pink people will come and they'll begin to tell the truth and want to stand on your side why because if things are to happen the way the pink man thinks or believes it's going to happen they want the melanated men to be able to vouch for them well pink people I tell you right now I'm not vouching for anyone I'm not even going to vouch for Dorothy and I have a lot of respect for her but I'm not vouching for any pink people because I don't know when the fuck your ass would change no complex question that's being raised by theologians right now hmm. isn't that an astonishing theologians thing? i bet they're all pink more astonishing to me is the vatican secret plan for welcoming in an alien god no the vatican secret plan for welcoming in an alien god and uh, that would be one of the martians these martians but none of them look the way they told you martians don't look like that i mean i use that kind of shit in my montages uh they represent each one of my brain cells like an entity so i just use the aliens in the montages because my brain cells are alien to to those even those around me you know my brain cells are alien with a small g I'll be right say with a small g supernatural see i did the rotten shit the jc shit that's the rotten shit and then the way he has a uh, the uh thing on his walls um let me see if i can get it well, let's see if they'll show it, but that's how it was in Atlantis. Oh, hell no, nigga. Okay. Talks about a one world government and a one world religion. You, know, you see how divided the world still is. You know, we have to think that something un unprecedented is going to occur that would unite the world under. But the way the wall is, the way you can see all those big, like, uh, the Nakal TVs, uh, I can't think of what they're called uh, but uh, the way you see the all those big monitors uh, that's how it was in Atlantis too they're playing games with everyone 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 they're not playing with me now, Ronald Reagan mm. gave a speech to the United Nations Ronald Reagan an actor where he said how quickly our differences would be resolved if we were faced with an alien threat from outside this world I mean, this is in the 80s he gave this speech in the UN now, if you look around the world, what people believe, I mean, statistics in the United States... You heard him? He said, what people believe. So there you have it again, what people believe. I say, I, I can watch a hundred videos. Say I watch a hundred videos in a month or two months. In 99 of those videos, it may be all hundreds, uh, they will use the word believe, love, Jesus Christ, religion happy happiness these are really the main um mind control words they have to keep you under hypnosis ufo crash site well <laughs> look at the ufo if they had a real ufo crash site it wouldn't look like that unless they're trying to play people extraterrestrials in the uk now, the reason that they believe, as he said, in extraterrestrials in the UK, then God, is because the UK are, are using mind control over there on the people. And they're using this shit already over there to trick the people. But the uh, people, they don't think, they don't have any, actually enough questions. Because if something like this came toward me, uh, I would want to know questions. And when they begin to... Um, like the guy said, they took him and strapped him down. That's called kidnapping. And you let me go. But a lot of times, they possibly will take you, and but they don't look like this.
unless they have on a costume or something, you know. But they will take you, and then uh, they will do whatever the fuck they want to do to you, or make you do any damn thing. Then they'll take you back, and they can erase your mind. And then they'll take you and put you right back where you were. And sometimes, uh, if you are asleep, I've seen this done. I have a video of this girl. She looks just like she sleep. Uh, they will pick you up out of your sleep as though you are Pinocchio. And then they will just have you walk in the streets. Like you don't have a mind at all because you possibly don't because you're asleep. And they are controlling you. And, and they do this. I only saw them do this to a couple of pink ticks. But I have a video of one. I took a video of one. And then one pink tick, I took a video of her feet. And that was a long time ago. But I may put that video on YouTube. To, and they had this this one uh, her feet were like cracked up and all black and shit you know like she was homeless and she stank like hell and she came into Jack in the Box and you know no one in Jack in the Box told her to leave no no one who worked in Jack in the Box told her she needed to leave and people were still there ordering the food wow I was like wow okay and that's a, that's a fact so to me, the strong now, let me show you what this, this is a perp with some sunglasses on. That's what this is. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> the illusion is already here. See, he said the illusion is already here. If you pay attention, they will tell you. And that is a fucking illusion for sure. Groundwork has been laid. Mm, and yep. our, our hypothesis at these powers and principalities that Paul writes about in Ephesians 6, these, these demonic forces mm. have seeded this idea into mm. the world. So we are primed and ready for a deception. But what, what makes you... So we are primed and ready for a deception. Whoa. Do you think the Vatican has planned to announce this? Well, you know, they're having astrobiology conference. Astrobiology. Now, why is the Vatican all locked up in this shit? And they're supposed to be uh, the church, right? Because they're your demons. They're your devils. They're your Satan. They're your Lucifer. The Catholic priest is a bitch. He fucks your babies and anything else he wants to fuck. He probably has even eaten a couple of babies. I say, fuck that motherfucking Pope. All of them are black Pope, or orange Pope, or blue Pope, or red Pope, whatever fucking Pope they want to come out with can kiss my motherfucking ass because the Popes, they are uh, uh, what they would call it like uh, uh, the serpent in the garden, you know? But except they work for the Queen. This time, the Queen. The God, the God is the queen. The Pope's God is the queen. He will come out and tell you about Jesus Christ. He may say God, Lord, and shit like that. But if the Catholics is so powerful and they're so this and they know so much because, you know, they are the first religion, how come the God never has a name? Jesus Christ is the name. That is not God in the book. That is like God's son. But what is God's name? That's in the scripture too. And they always say God and Lord, God and Lord. God is only a fucking title. Uh, but there is a scripture in their book. It says, um, and what is, thou, what is thy name if thou canst tell? What is my name if thou canst tell? So he asks you, what is the name of God? Uh, I think it says something like that. I'm going to go and get it. Here you go. I, I I don't think I'm going to break the code though. It said, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? That means who has gone up and who has come back down? Who have gathered the wind in its fists? Who have bound the waters in its garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Then in the in the new scriptures, the New Testament, the messenger he says uh, uh, something like, uh, "I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive." See, so he said he comes in his Father's name. Now, once you get here, then you it, there's a code to be broken. So then it'll take you somewhere else, and then you will find the technical You take wife a. Is his name so if he the mes messenger says he comes in his father's name then wouldn't his name be you take wife on this earth it is a bastard language it is pronounced Yahweh so wouldn't his son name be Yahweh hmm what is his name or his son's name 
surely you know that's a different uh, book. But it says, what is his son's name and what is his son's name? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. But they never tell his name. It's just God. So shouldn't Jesus Christ's name have been God? Wow. Pink people. Look how pink he is. Oh, he looks like a cat man. He looks like, uh, it's like a movie. They go get this little pink motherfucker out the jungle and they bring him back to here. And then they clean him up and do his hair and shit and put him on a suit. That's what he looks like. But this little hardcore face motherfucker, he looks like he is born uh, uh, in a cave. So I'm going to say this is a Canaanite because he looks like he comes out of a cave. So they, they've made it intellectually virtuous to believe in these extraterrestrials. They're right. See, to believe. Things coming out of their theologians have pretty much made the argument that if you don't believe in extraterrestrials. If you don't believe, if you don't believe, see, you don't have a belief system, period. Either you know or you don't know. When I don't know shit and people ask me something, I'd be like, I don't know, but uh, I can research it for you or write something down and then I can go through your words and maybe I can find something for you. But uh, I don't do that anymore. You know, I used to be friendly, but bitch, I'm not friendly no more. Not anymore. And that is actually the heresy. You talk the about heresy. Uh, that the Vatican is going to reevaluate their position on <laughs> Christianity. Look at this nigga. This shit is gold. If you see it close, this shit is gold. And this is my motherfucking gold. I told him long time ago, maybe in 2010 or 2011, somewhere around there. But I did a video and I told him I want my motherfucking gold back. I'm not playing with these bitches. I want my shit. This shit, this gold, it belongs to Haima Biff. Haima Biff also had his gold in a, in, in, um, in a King David's house along with Solomon. And Solomon is the one that gave a hammer to to hit uh, Haima Biff in the back of the head. And then King, King uh, Solomon, Solomon, he took over everything. He took it all over everything. That's why the pink bastards, they worship Solomon um, in the temples. And they could be worshipping Solomon because Solomon did go bad to even hit his own cousin, Hiram Abiff, Chiram Abiff, in the back of the head with the hammer. But it all could, Solomon also can represent Inky because Inky, he did go bad. And that was kind of like, uh, you know, the... Damn it, I, I, I really never watched the movie, but it has a Dark Vader in there. It's like Dark Vader was a good person, and now he's not, but he's black, and black is tar. But he should have been gold. But they have him black as tar. Then he goes to the guy, and he uh, tells the pink guy, he said, I am your father. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I saw that part. I said, uh huh, that's inky little nasty ass. Oh, I may talk about Inky, but don't think I don't like Inky because they do. I hang out with Inky too, you know, and uh, <laughs> everyone hangs out with Inky but Pandora, and everyone hangs out with Pandora but Inky. So if I can get Inky and Pandora to hang out together, you guys are fucked. You pink motherfuckers and melanated motherfuckers with them, you will be fucked. So that we would have to See, he said they're not falling and we are. But it's ugly ass. Damn, he's ugly and fucking pink. And look at him. Wow, I don't see how a melanated person can marry. I just couldn't look at that every day. Oh, and the legs. Oh, the legs are so ugly. Here, oh man, now, I'm so glad now it's November. You don't see them in shorts all the time. But oh, the legs are like, ugh. Our beliefs, according to their revelation. See, he said in our beliefs. So are they talking about uh, setting up teams to evangelize humans and aliens? Is that what? Says setting up teams to evangelize humans and aliens. Uh, they all are in a sense of a way evangelized. If you are in about religion and any kind of religion, because all religions come off of Catholicism. The Catholic religion was set up in 170 A.D. The first religion to ever actually be... <laughs> did a water burn up. I mean... Okay. All other religions are based in set of Rome. The Catholic religion. 
after the queen, but they would say the Pope because that's the one they show you. Yeah, I have to laugh. Wow. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to survive that way. I thought I was getting the fuck up out of here. I survived this. This is 20 minutes and I'll be back. Let me get them off of my... <clears throat>